three, two, one, and action. So, Michael, here we are once again having a chance to talk. This time you're the slugger of <laughs> the slugger's wife. And it seems like uh, whenever Hollywood needs uh, somebody who can be athletic, they think of Michael O'Keefe. Uh, there was Caddyshack, the golfer, and Santini, the basketball player, and Split Image, the gymnast. Right. And uh, So uh, do you like uh, that kind of athletic image, or would you like to go to something real wimpish for a change. I plan on playing a lot of wimps in the future. Uh, basically, I like sports. I always have. I grew up liking sports. And I was always, I had a good instincts as an athlete, but never any discipline or ability to develop them. So to get the chance to do it as an actor is just great, because you get to do it over and over again until you get it right. You know, So everybody thinks, God, he's great. So you get those opportunities. Of course, we're so used to, you know, even the, the the most casual moviegoer knows all about stunt doubles and everything, but in this movie, much of that could not be doubled. You really oh, yeah. had to swing the bat. Oh yeah, there was no way to, they could have doubled it, uh, and it would have looked a lot different than what you see now, but I, I don't really care for that too much in films unless you get into an area where it could be dangerous for you to be doing what it is you're doing, and at that point, I'm all for somebody standing in, but if, if I'm not going to get into a, a life-threatening situation, uh, which makes me wonder why I stood in front of a baseball coming at me at 95 miles an hour as long as I did. But, you know, if it's not going to really kill me, I think I'd like to get out there and try and do it myself. So I worked very hard on it. What did you have to go through to get ready for this role? Uh, I trained for four and a half months with a, a man named Keith Bodie, who is uh, in the Houston Astros organization. And uh, we worked out in New York all October, November, December, January, part of February. And then uh, I went to spring training with the Braves. And then I came in here, and uh, now here I am. Well, if, if you decide you don't want the acting career, I imagine that I could put a word in for you with the Texas Rangers. It's a start. You know? <laughs> they could use me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they could use anybody at this point. They might need some help out there this year. Uh, I, actually, uh, you know, one of the things that happened on the film was that I developed a profound respect for baseball and for the real athletic skill that these guys have. and. Uh, all my fantasies at the same time that they came true and I got to hit as many balls as I did and, and learn as much as I did about baseball and, and get as good as I could get at, with a baseball bat, I also came to realize that there was no way that, the, that I could ever be a professional baseball player. I just, it's a skill that's uh, very special. Is it a different kind of pressure from what you have as an actor? How do you mean, being an athlete or being an athlete I mean, and an being actor a at the same time? Player and you're up there, and let's say it's a real crucial uh, time to be at bat uh, for you know whether the game is won or lost. Sure. Uh, and you're staring at that pitcher out there on the mound. Is, is it a different kind of butterflies? Do you think? It's more. It's it's more primal. I think it's more physical. You, you know, you're, you're more physically threatened by the whole thing because you're using your body, you're using your skills that way. And it's, it's a real moment of truth. I mean, I think one of the reasons baseball players, you'll find that they have something that they lean on one way or another. Uh, either they're very religious and spiritual or, uh, or they're very arrogant and very cocky. Uh, because they, when they get up in the, in the batter's box and they face a pitcher, uh, you're alone up there. And you tend to want to bring something up there with you, whether it's a, a, a rabbit's foot, or your wife, or uh, you know, or your psychiatrist. You want to have some some kind of support system when you get up there. And you're so alone out there, more than an actor who has other people to play off of. Sure, it's you against nine other guys. It's the only team when uh, game when you're on offense, the other team controls the ball. Uh, it's scary. It's real scary being a baseball player. Did you have any particular thrill uh, in swinging the bat and maybe hitting any balls that, that you suddenly realized, wow, this is what baseball's all about? Oh, sure. Well, I hit a home run in, in the Atlanta Stadium while we were practicing one day. And the kind of thing, when that happened, um, it seemed like it took the ball about 15 minutes after it left the bat to get out because I was watching it and I thought, I hit that one pretty well. It's got a good arc to it. It's still going up. I think it might go out of here. Then I heard other people around me here saying things like, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. And then when it went out, that was, it was, I was shocked. I was just, I was amazed. And it, I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. Great thrill. Huh? Oh, yeah. Um, 
In the while you were making the film and your association with other ball players, did you meet anybody that you thought that's Daryl Palmer? Yeah, it was a guy who taught me to hit. His name's Keith Bodie, and uh, Keith's from Brooklyn, so he he didn't have the same kind of demeanor, and he's Italian, so he didn't have the same kind of look. But what he did have was the real innocence and the, and the real naivete mixed with the real you know braggy kind of uh, cocky behavior that the character has, and I, I took as much of that as I could from him. Uh, in uh, the scenes that you did with Rebecca de Mornay, uh, did, uh, did you feel that there was a, a strong chemistry between the two of you? Um, it, uh, did you feel that you couldn't really connect with the kind of woman she was playing? I felt like the, the relationship we had off camera suited the relationship we had on camera. Um, we had a great attraction for each other and we, have, we had different styles of working and when it came together on camera it seemed to work in the relationship. Um, there was never any bad blood between us or anything like that, but um, she's got an edge. You know, she's a very assertive, very direct uh, young lady, you know, who's got distinct sort of feelings and, and ideas about who she is and what she wants out of life. And I have, I have the same kind of personality. So it, uh, when we came together, there was that, that kind of relationship really that the film required, and I think that's why it works. Did you test together? Yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah. And you think that's what Ashby saw? And yeah. I actually already had the role when Rebecca had tested. Um, so we were really trying to find somebody that everybody felt comfortable with. And uh, she gave the best screen test. She really did. She really kicked right in there. Were there any other name actresses who tested? You, you can't say? Yeah, OK. <laughs> I respect that. <laughs> Sometimes they do say. <laughs> no, I, I don't want to know. We can't talk about that. Stuff. OK, all right. Well, Michael, it's been fun talking with you. And I enjoyed your performance very much. And uh, as a person who's been a pretty good baseball fan through the years, you looked uh, authentic. Well, thanks. So I am going to say to the Rangers, hey, I know somebody. <laughs> really? Which is as long as I don't have to field. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Thank you, Michael. Nice to see you. OK. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, after all these athletic roles, do you have a yen to kind of play a wimp sometime? <laughs> what all did you have to do to get ready for this role? You know, even the most casual moviegoer now knows about doubles and that kind of thing. But you can tell that there is no doubling for you in this film. When you were doing the baseball scenes, did you ever have a moment when you felt like, wow, this is what baseball is all about? Did you ever meet any, in your association with the ball players? did you ever meet one that you said, that's Daryl Palmer? What kind of relationship was there between you and Rebecca off screen as well as on? Okay, now I'll give you reactions. <laughs> Let me do one more question. I remembered one. Okay? Now, if you decide you'd like to do something in addition to acting, how about me putting in a word for you with the Texas Rangers? Yes. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Got it. Thank you.